Howdy, all you delicious people. I'm here to just do another rant. Rant about writing. I'm looking at this story, as well as looking at the background that is otherwise not going to change because it's just a, a Photoshop of the, the game of which, because ultimately I'm doing this through a tablet, and it's just much easier to just do this through this way. Because uh, ultimately phone storage is the crappiest it's ever been. Uh, but anyways, so... And ultimately, I've been doing this on a, a tabletto. So, uh, that ultimately lags a lot. Isn't that great? Anyways, moving on. So, here's the thing. We ultimately have this thing called a Marvel. It's a company that otherwise has characters where they have no personal tie to their otherwise lives within this story. Like, you would have thought, like, here's an interesting thing that they could go about doing this. We could end up having it to where, in any number of these stories, a character could get married off. Like, say, for example, you could have it to where Spider-Man marries Mary Jane. And ultimately, that could be an entire story. That otherwise, like, uh, you could have, like, say, for example, you could have it to where, like, it's... Uh, so-and-so person's campaign story. So we end up having it to be a campaign story about, let's just say, throwing a name in there, like Amadeus Cho. It's Amadeus Cho's campaign story, and we end up having it to where Spider-Man is supposedly getting married, and ultimately uh, Amadeus Cho is holding on to the rings, uh, but ultimately we end up having it to where Amadeus Cho, of course, turns into the Hulk and then ends up losing the rings. Oh my god, how could you, Amadeus Cho? How could you, Cho? And then ultimately there could be a whole banter about that. Like, there is so much stuff that connects not only Spider-Man to being in his Spider-Man world, and we have it to ultimately, uh, that is to otherwise tie and do Hulk problems, because ultimately when you Hulk, you rip your pants and whatever, so... I don't know how many times that ultimately I would say that there needs to be a non-generic writing for every single one of these characters. I think a lot of the times I think they try to write things a little bit more safe. So that way ultimately if they end up having to rewrite something or change a character, ultimately they can easily just uh, change a word or two and it could be written for anyone. Is what I think really and truly happens. Going into here, we have times where ultimately, like a night nurse would ultimately have said in the the white tiger dialogue, it's like, oh, well, I'm not uh, as stealthy as you other people because I'm not a ninja. And I was like, well, there's actually one example of a time where it seems that a character felt separated from everyone else because everyone else just feels heavily generic. We ultimately have a tour. Daredevil is ultimately saying, Oh, yeah, it's my fault. Everything is on me and blah, 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 because it's my story, basically. <laughs> it's not White Tiger's story. It's Daredevil's story. It's Daredevil's story. It's a story selling us a, the hand that ultimately is, hasn't been relevant for I don't know how long now. But it's the hand. It's the most uh, It's the most powerful Team in Marvel, Marvel Strike Force, the hand. Wow, you better watch out for the hand, because they'll get you. Yeah, the hand is so powerful that they don't even have them being used in a bulk of the campaign story. It's all like, hey, let's use Juggernauts and, and, uh, and Hellas, and yeah, that makes a lot of sense. For being a hand team. Uh, reasonably, like, that's the hilarity of the random battle simulator that otherwise most of these characters aren't even otherwise tied to into the story. We have it to where there's a generic villain like a kingpin or a bullseye or some other generic villain that might be tied to the main, like, so in other words, like, kingpin or bullseye might be tied to daredevil. But they aren't going to be probably placed onto the board because when looking at... And here's the thing. When a villain comes in, ultimately to just say like, Oh, I'm going to get you, you rascally heroes, you. 
like a character like P- Kingpin, it's like, you know what? Like, I'm just going to beat you half to death with my wallet. Like, that's what the Kingpin should kind of say. Like, the Kingpin could ultimately say, like, well, like, I'm not going to get off... I'm not going to get off the comfort of my uh, of my chair uh, to ultimately go and beat you for the 80th time. Like, no. Like, I'm going to send someone else out to beat you for me kind of thing. Like, there's, there's so many things that could otherwise tie a actual villain to the approach of where they ultimately go. We end up having a tour of Bullseye. Ended up mentioning about that ultimately he's going to, like, man, I need a I, I need more knives to go and fling at people within the, the White Tiger story. I'm like, Bullseye can use anything to kill anybody with. So ultimately you have it to her. Like, you could have made it be an entire joke where ultimately, like, uh, we could have had it to her. Bullseye had mentioned it's like, well, it's a good thing that I went to a, a mug convention. I got a lifetime supply of mugs. All to go and and hit you upside the the mug with, because <laughs> we could end up having it to where like bullseye just throws like fifteen mugs at people, just chuck 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 chuck. It'd be hilarious. Just just as a joke, the story could be a lot more funnier than what it is. I don't know how many times that I would ultimately have seen a story with Deadpool and like. Man, this actual story is hilarious. It's a lot more hilarious than what else, whatever the heck else is going on. Uh, that and the Mojo story, I think, was actually funny because it actually had some tying into, like, ratings and, and uh, lights, camera, action. And it had, like, references to actually, like, the desperation of, of putting a show together. But that's really all the real, true, relevant things that I've kind of really can pull from from any number of stories. Maybe there was something interesting about Squirrel Girl, or maybe there was something interesting about tying some minion characters into uh, a big story. But everything else is just kind of, it sucks. It sucks because there is no otherwise outside connection from this character brought into this game. Plus, we also are supposedly going to be getting an exclusive character, which I would have hoped to be a brand new villain uh, that is going to be the main villain, but probably not. It's just going to be some hero that ultimately I'm going to be like, yeah, I don't care for this hero. Here's the thing. White Tiger. Everyone is immediately saying, I don't care for White Tiger. I'm going to skip White Tiger. Who cares? Here's the thing. You guys should have honestly sold this character with a better team. You should have sold Moon Knight with a better team. Uh, When looking at it, you're kind of really, really going and really just thrusting the value of these characters down, ultimately to where, like, it's going to be obvious that like nobody nobody should buy this character. Everyone just work for it. It's forty five shards. Everybody, just come on. Just we're just gonna give it to you. We're just gonna give it away to you. Like that is kind of the dumb approach of. It's kind of a dumb approach to these characters when looking at it. It's like there's obviously some characters that are just a throwaway. Like there's characters that don't have a value, but I guess you're just gonna have the loyal people that don't want to do the campaigns and and consistently hit the buttons all the day long and whatever just to get through these missions so you're just going to have people pay for this character before it even comes out. And I guess when looking... So here's the thing. You need a high-valued character to be... Ultimately, everybody's like clamoring for the character. You need to ultimately have it to where there is a character that people are like, ooh, I'm excited. Because every single character is being waved one out. Hey guys, we haven't gotten to Absorbing Man yet on the uh, Marvel Encyclopedia, and he's a wave one character. Might as well put Absorbing Man out there. How exciting is that character going to be? Instead of pushing out like a character like uh, Renew Your Vows Murray Jane... Or ultimately having uh, a character like Kid Omega 
or ultimately having a character like uh, Legion out there, or ultimately having like real heavy hitters that are ultimately Omega level characters. That ultimately could be sold as a legendary, could be sold as a uh, 100 shard character, or could be sold as whatever the heck that you want. Because when looking at it, you can adjust this person's power. So ultimately, just like, well, yeah, I know they all say Omega level character, but when I'm really looking at it, there isn't a justification of exactly what we could have done with this character. So ultimately, at some point, it could be reworked. Because that's the thing. So. Take risks, get rewards. Look at them and just be like, maybe we can try this. Take a risk. I think it's kind of silly how we have so many characters here, and yet we're just flopping out like, oh, here's a here's another X Men team. I don't know how many, we should have like a rotation really of several different kinds of portions of comic book instead of just like, okay, here's yet another X-Men team. Because that's all they're pushing out is like X-Men characters. And, and then they can't wait to put more out. Like, hey guys, you want to know? We're probably going to do Rogue and Gambit. Hey guys, we're probably also going to finish up x force or x factor or whatever the heck else hey guys we're also going to probably give more x-men characters because that's all we can do is just keep giving you x-men characters till we fill up every single quota of x-men characters we can completely fill out of a high valued character means <clears throat> high value interest a high value character, high interest, high profit probably as well. Recently when when ultimately everybody was saying, hey yeah, everybody, astonishing X-Men. Hmm? Everyone's like, oh wait, so let's go and get these characters now. Because ultimately everybody's saying they're actually really good. So let's go and get these characters. Because I'm sure nobody probably cared about Pym Tech. I'm sure nobody like everybody was just like yeah, I'll just get them. I'll just go through the motions and get them. But ultimately, they're never going to be a top team. And then everybody was thinking like, oh, well, not all these teams, I guess, are lemons. Because I'm assuming Shadowland is probably going to be a lemon team. And then ultimately, they're probably going to separate Moon Knight or whoever. Because ultimately, everybody's going to keep the, def the original Defender team. Everyone is just going to separate all these other characters. So... Again, it's kind of a mood point to put a team together when nobody wants to put it together. Nobody really likes Skilletary or Military, whatever that team is. Nobody cares about it. Um, it's kind of sad that we've gotten to a point where we we're really putting teams together that make no rational sense. It's just like... Or plopping stat numbers out there and just like, well, this has to be the best payout because because they can't complete a team in this game. <laughs> they can't complete every single character in this game to have it have a rational place to go to. No, because where would the fun of that be? You got to put an odd number of characters out so they just kind of have to like fledgingly like, well, I guess I have to just forcibly put this... Uh, this socket into this into the hole that doesn't fit it. So, writing. So, we could have it to where there's an entire character that is going to quit. It's going to quit be a, being a superhero. We could have it to where every single time... We can honestly have it to where this character is ultimately saying, like, well, hey, every time I turn around, there's an Avengers team... There's a Fantastic Four team. And ultimately, I don't know if I've said any number of these things already within this video, but um, so I apologize if I'm repeating myself, if I'm a parrot of myself. But you could have it to where the entire time where this person is ultimately just like, you know what? I think I'm going to quit being a hero. 
that could be an entire story on itself. Ultimately having a person going through their Spider-Man no more kind of approach. And then ultimately you could have, uh, which I think would be an interesting addition. Uh, you could have a character like Nightmare that ultimately was from, uh, I think, the, uh, the Dream World or the Dream Realm. Uh, you could have a character like that that ultimately kind of uh, siphons off people's fears and whatever. And like you could have it to be that ultimately Nightmare is going to be working this guy over trying to beat, uh, trying to beat him, ultimately trying to like force him to quit. And then he realizes towards the end, it's like, well, you know what, like. I have to be, like, I have to be this character. Like, I have to be Daredevil. I have to be, uh, I have to be Moon Knight. I have to be Moon, it has to be, like, I have to be this character because when looking at it, no one else was here but me to fight off this character. And plus, this, uh, this villain sought me out to beat me and I won. And so on and so, like, there's a whole kind of like morality spin that you can go about this, but when looking at it, you need to have these stories much more one of a kind. It can't just be that everyone is going through the motions through these stories. Like you can just tell like everybody is just like, well, yeah, I went out in the corner and I bought a, I bought a thing of juice and then I turned around and villains just came out of nowhere. <laughs> That's where I feel. That's where I feel like this story, like every single story, is just like, yeah, I went and got a cotton of milk, and then I turned around and just all these villains were just walking around. <laughs> so I guess it's like, you know what? I should figure out how to take down these villains, cause you know what? It's the right thing to do. <laughs> like, it feels like we're having those kinds of stories in this game. Uh, like it feels like. There's so many times where I felt like I've heard a lot of these speeches or I've heard a lot of these things from somewhere other than, like, uh, somewhere other than a video game. Like, I feel like I've heard this from, like, I've heard some lines from, like, movies somewhere. I don't know how many times that they have to end a sentence with the word now in this story. We end up having it to our reasonably every little bit of dialogue seems like a old fashioned story that I've heard a billion times over from an old black a black and white like old western or something and so on and so forth. It's just ridiculous. Every single little bit of dialogue should otherwise be like creamed to the to the ill to the to, to the heights of just like Tying in some Marvel reference from whatever character that you're putting into. If you're going to be talking about Spider-Man, have him, like, have an entire problem where, like, we have it to where Spider-Man is wanting to go on a date with Mary Jane, but Nick Fury is pulling him in every single time to, to do some kind of job. And so we end up having to where there's dissension between the ranks of ultimately Spider-Man just going, like, Hey, like, you owe me one, Nick Fury. And Nick Fury is like, mm-hmm, I, oh, all right, sure. So we end up having it to where in the very next uh, mission, ultimately, uh, Nick Fury will ultimately say, it's like, well, hey, man, I owe you one. And like, and then, and Spider-Man's like, well, that's two you're going to owe me now. And then, like, we can keep going on going and going where it's like, dude, this is like five that you owe me. When am I, when, when am I going to cash in one of these O's? What, what am I going to, like, get somebody else in this, in this, uh, like, what am I going to get, uh, uh, like, I've, like, I've, uh, canceled on Mary Jane five times now. Like, come on, Nick Fury. And then he's like, fine. Like, I'll just send, uh, I'll just send Spider-Woman in, or I'll just send, uh, shocker in or i'll just send some other character that is otherwise i'll send venom in i'll send symbiote spider-man in and then peter's like oh no 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 okay i'll, I'll do it <laughs> just ultimately just kind of like it has a payoff at the very end of it and like you have it to where like this has been building over time and then eventually at the very end of the story there's a payoff at the end of it 
to ultimately just be like, okay, like, uh, Peter has finally been silent and whatever. And then eventually towards the very last end of the story, we have the conclusion that ultimately, uh, Peter had got dumped by Mary Jane, but at least I, but at least he saved the world kind of thing. Um, ultimately you can mention, it's like, well, yeah, like I got a t-shirt where ultimately it's mentions it's like, Hey, I got dumped by my girl, but at least I got this cool t-shirt. <laughs> Or, like, hey, I got dumped by my girlfriend, but at least uh, I saved the world <laughs> and got this t-shirt. A little bit too long? A little bit too long for you, for your shirt? But anyways, um, there needs to be fused fun into these stories. And I think, again, that's where, like, this game really needs a desperational reset. Uh... A lot of people are like, no, I don't want it to complete reset. I don't want to start from Star 1 again and work my way up. Like, I paid X amount of dollars for all these characters and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's great and all, but looking at it, it's just... The stories are just not what they used to be. The stories are, 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 are not what they used to be. They're not at all what a comic book was <laughs> but ultimately it seems that everything is just working out for this game and ultimately they're just like ha 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 I'm making profit so what matters and ultimately the marvel guys are ultimately happy with scopely and and this game and whatever but there's nothing exclusive for this game that is otherwise besides a brand new character they're gonna implement which i thought was stupid uh because ultimately just like that's just, like, I like the exclusive part, but I'm looking at it. An exclusive thing needs to have a interesting aspect about it. Like, maybe it's uh, a character that is otherwise tied into being a kid of two different characters. Maybe it's the child of Wolverine and Jean. It's the, uh, it's a time lined or a time, whatever dimension. It's a dimensional baby of Wolverine and Jean. I'm like, ah, oh, it could cause a whole entire dissension between the ranks of uh, Wolverine and Cyclops and Jean. Just a, like you could have a dimensional rift where you have like a character that is otherwise like, uh, a variation of some character that ultimately people know fairly well. And they're like, oh, well, that's interesting. You could ultimately have a villain that is otherwise tied that way uh, to any number of people. But anyways, so... We have it to where in this game that reasonably a high-interest character or a high, uh, like, you need to really, I don't know how many times people said, like, yeah, like, I haven't had fun playing this game, I'm just kind of going through the motions, and that's been a long time. There's no fun characters like Carnage, there's no fun characters, like, a lot of people maybe say that, like, Cyclops might have, might have been fun, where he just kind of blasts through everybody and whatever, um, but I think, yeah, like, everybody's just kind of going through the motions now of, of playing this game. And dialogue isn't helping. Everybody's just skipping that. So everybody's just like, how quickly can I just get things done in this game rather than enjoying it for what it is? So it basically becomes, like, boredom of just, like, God, I'm slapping buttons. Told me just get to the end of this. So I can collect my reward or my prize or my whatever to otherwise be happy. Because when looking at it, like people are paying tons and tons of money or just really just investing their time uh, to otherwise this game. And when looking at it, their reward is a generic character that is put into a generic team that is to have a generic story that is to really just drive home the fact that this game is too generic and 
the things that I'm mentioning are a lot more fun. <laughs> so I think with that, I'm I think I'm going to call that a wrap here. Uh, there probably might have been a lot of other points that I could have made here, but I'm looking at it. Um, yeah, I, mean, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Uh, so story. Hopefully this story improves uh, because, yeah, a lot of people are talking about the, the technical things of it all, the resources of it all. The stats of things, the bugs that have been broken since forever and are never going to be not broken, seemingly. Um, but if anything, hey guys, we have skins to the game. Woo! <laughs> we have game modes. We're going to keep adding game modes. Where is this money going to a thing that you could ultimately just fix things and have better looking things and you know what also have better characters so in other words the reason why they have like the most generic characters is because they're adding too many game modes to the game they're doing everything but like so basically they could not give a single f about what characters actually go on to here they just care about adding more game modes onto everything, and they're not giving a high-quality character because recently they just care about, like, oh, well, how can we, like, how can we put another battle pass on here? How can we put another game mode that is going to get some, uh, some new thing that people are going to have to work to the heavens to try to get or ultimately pay through the teeth to get? And, like, that is the goofiest thing. Like, so, reasonably what is going on now is this has gone so further from actually being, like, uh, hey, the most valuable thing is the Marvel character. No. The most valuable thing is the game mode that they can add on to this game to make you take even a bigger chunk of your time especially if you are to do dailies to like, oh, okay, well they added 12 other different game modes that now you have to do to be able to complete your dailies and the awards are just going to be just meh. It's going to be so, so, so with that, I think I'm going to get out of here. It's just, uh, not get out of here. Meaning I'm going I'm to quit the game. It's just like, to me, I think a lot of people would ultimately have that consensus of just like this, needs to have some kind of like well yeah like 90 percent of it sucks but when looking at it there is that uh that 10 percent that at least i could be like well like and that 10 percent is really just like well but it's a marvel game that is about it that is about it it's a marvel game and that's the why uh that's the reason of continuing to going because it's marvel like, if they bizarrely changed it to anything else, then I'd be done. But, uh, considering they just slapped the word Marvel on this game, that ultimately I'm going to continue to play it. But, because that's all that's left. Because reasonably, it's, like, it doesn't feel like the Marvel that I would like to have. Uh, it doesn't feel like the Marvel that I know of. And it doesn't ultimately really go into the fact that it's like, well, like, I want this character, well, who cares? <laughs> Wouldn't it be great to finally get this character in the game? Well, who cares? Because ultimately it's just like, well, we're going to try to find the whatever valued character that we think is going to be a valued character, and it's not going to be. It isn't. So anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.